Hi, I'm Holly. This is a one hand video on hair straightening. I'll show you how I went from this to this. To get straight hair, I used a hair dryer, my InStyler, a round brush, a comb, lots of hair clips, and different products for heat protect and frizz reduction. First, let's get this mop wet. Now my hair is wet, I'll comb some heat protect through it. Now it's time to hit it with a hair dryer. Next, I'm going to divide my hair up into small sections around my preferred parting. I'm doing this because as I only have one hand, I can't hold and separate hair on the fly. This way, I'll be able to get every little bit of hair, making sure it comes out smooth and silky. If you don't separate and try and straighten clumps of hair, you'll not get that loose, feathery feel to your hair. So, time to get separated. So in case some of you are thinking I'm doing some off-camera cheating, I'm not. To get my hair up like this, I've been using a stick from uh, a hairpiece. But if you don't have one of those, a pencil will do. All I've been doing is getting my hair twisting it like this, jabbing that in there, and with my clip I find the stick, clip it in, and hopefully it stays. Now it's time to get straightening. I've tried a few different tools for straightening hair, but I have found the installer works best, mostly because of the training guard. I usually end up burning my head or ears with the other tools. With this one, I don't. I'll never take the training guard off my inside. I'm going to do my best to use one hand for this part. However, my residual limb will try and get in on the action. Other than the loss of my hand, I have full range of movement and normal functionality. If you have different abilities to me, I hope you'll be able to copy what I do or at least get some inspiration to find ways of doing it to suit your abilities. I'll be using more heat protect product while I do this. My hair has a mind of its own and I'll do what I can to make sure that I won't curl up again in two hours. I'm going to spray, comb, and then Making sure the comb part of the installer is on the outside. Going to lean over and Do this as fast as two handed girls, so I'm going to go into fast forward now. I'll be spraying, combing, straightening. Once I finish this section, I'm trying to get it out of the way and clip it down and if it's easier, clip it to your t-shirt and it won't move. Uh, you may not have hair as long as me to be able to do this. Once again, just use another clip to put the section down of the way. 
I find my mouth a little bit faster than clipping things. It's not as uh, nice on my tongue, but what can you do? Another thing I uh, worked out is by using my pinky, I can get in, get into the hair, and flick it so it gets into the ink styler a little bit easier, especially for these small fiddly bits. This pinky carefully without getting in the face. I do find that I do miss spots on the back of my head. I'm going to try this technique where I'm clipping the forward hair out of the way. I'm going to clip it to my t-shirt and I'm going to bend over and tilt to the side to try and get all the bits at the back that I miss. For you, you might find it easier if you have two mirrors so you can see what you're doing behind. I only have this little hand mirror and I'm turning myself back on to the main mirror to see what I'm doing. But for you, I'm gonna give this a go on camera. There's a little bit I need to do up the top. So I'm just going to get close up to the mirror and tweak it with the hair styler just a little bit and I'll come back to you in a minute. What I did to finish off was just use my fingers to get the hair up and underneath the in styler. And all I did here was just tuck a little bit of my hair behind my ear and poof it down. Now that it's straight, I'm going to do a final product to seal it in. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you get a handful of independence.